Hello guys, how you doing? It's today we're doing the Le Mans 24 hour guide for the Ford GTLM or GTE, whichever one you want to call it. So coming into the first corner here, you want to be in fifth. And you want when you see this first body, you want to start turning and you want to try to clip that inside curb that I missed it. And for here, what you want to do is you want to get up on this curb just, just enough to get the two tires up and then here clip it and power out and wide and just take two tires over there. And here, straight away, you want to get two tires over on there. And then here, you want to try to get two tires over and knock them things out of the way there. And then here, what you want to do is here is you want to get the front left tire up on the curb. And then here, what you want to do is here is you want to take your two tires over and just get them on to the very edge of the curb. And then you'll be fine. It, it, will, it won't bottom out for you. And then coming into here, this is where you, you want to tap the brakes a little bit. And you want to just send it in. And this... It's as close as I think you're going to get to not, like, to dirty in it. And power out. And then just one long, big straight line now, all the way down to the uh, first more sand chicane. So if you are enjoying these and you want to see the next uh, guides coming out for the future, the LMP1s and the other GTs, be sure to drop a subscribe and like and comment. And maybe I can try out some other tunes as well that you guys want me to see. So be sure to check out DDM Raw. He's doing all these tunes so far for all these... Uh, guides so yeah so here you want to break just just like right, maybe like a couple car lengths before that 100 meter board and what you want to do is you want to get two tires over on the inside here and then power in get second go on tight and that curb and then power out wide get the two tires in there and then back again powering down to the second more sand but yeah ddm raw has done all the tunes for me for all the cars so i'll be trying my best to go through them but be sure to go check him out. He has all the tunes out there. And I'll try my best to um, show you guys what I believe to be the best way to take corners and maximize your time. So coming into this corner, you want to break at the 100 meter board straight away. And then what you want to do is you want to try to get two tires over on the curb again. I'll keep two tires on the inside. And you want to get your two tires up in here. You can probably take more of that and then power out wide. For some reason, that white line there does not dirty. It's at the curb. So yeah. Be sure to uh, do that as well. And now we're going down to more sand corner. A lot of this is going to be straights. So if you're one that doesn't fully believe you can do the corners as quick as I can, maybe your best bet is going for a quicker car down the straights so you can do that. So this corner here, what you want to do is you want to turn in again as soon as possible. I didn't actually get this perfect, but you can turn in a bit earlier. Maybe take more of that inside curb and then just power out. And then two tires over the curb again and you're still keeping it clean you're fine now we're powering down now i believe into indianapolis where a lot of people i believe will struggle a lot of people will spin out the back end and uh, so you've got to be very careful coming into this corner all right, all right i'm going to try to show you what i believe to be one of the best ways to take it so you want to do is you want to flip the car over to the left of the tiny bit just just before you flick it in and you want to try to get it into the part here like this is this is dirty as again on the curb if you go over the curb it becomes dirty and then flick it in you want to take as much as the curb as you can and then flick down into third for this tune i use second there by accident uh i probably lost about a tenth maybe two and coming into here, you want to flick down second again take as much curb on the inside as possible power out again and you're fine bobby does and then now you're powering up again into the porsche curves Again, I reiterate, this is a cornering car. You're doing 187, 188 down the straight. There's other cars that are doing like 191 to 196. So this is where you're going to make up all your time right now. So here, I'm probably breaking just a car length away from that, that like, you know, sign there to the left. And then in the fifth, you want to try to get on the inside as much as possible. I actually messed up. Went a bit too wide. You want to keep it in fifth, you know, cut, cut the inside curb there a bit. And same there on the outside. Go through it. And then what you want to do is you want to tap the brakes now. Drop into fourth instantly. And keep it as tight as the inside as possible without actually spinning it up. And here, keep it in fourth again. Tap the brakes. Get two tyres over on the left. And then power out wide. And done again there. And what you want to do is now you just power in through until the four chicanes. And then what happens here now is what you, you see that little flick there. That little flick gets you up on this curb here. And whilst you turn in, it actually gives you better rotation into this corner. And then flick it into right there. I kept it in third here. You can use second if you want. This is actually clean. So just know that this is clean. See, I'm I'm all three tyres over it and it's still clean. 
this was a clean lap. And there you go. That is my lap of uh, Le Mans for you guys. So be sure to drop a subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you're enjoying it. And leave a comment to which one you'd like to see next. And I'll catch you again next time. Bye.